Hey there, creative adventurers, and welcome back to Ace of Creative, the ultimate forge of digital artistry. Now, I'm Jace, and today we're diving deep into the fantastical realm of Dungeons & Dragons with an epic zebra sculpting adventure. So in this video, we're unleashing our artistic prowess to craft a legendary masterpiece, a fearsome goblin miniature ready for 3D printing. Now, whether you're looking to enhance your tabletop gaming experience or just create a jaw-dropping display piece, you're in for a treat. But before we embark, if I could just ask you to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and hit the bell notification and join our growing community of digital artisans. Trust me, you won't want to miss the incredible tutorials, tips, and artistic inspiration I have in store for you. Now, in this video, it's just a quick time lapse of my process going from base mesh up to a fully rendered image and some turntables to show what the final miniature will actually look like when it's printed. So grab your stylus. And let's dive into the magical world of ZBrush, where we sculpt, print, and breathe life into our very own Dungeons & Dragons Goblin. Without further ado, let the sculpting adventure begin. So as the video starts here, as you can see, I'm just kind of uh, fluffing around with the base mesh, trying to pull things around and get some forms and kind of figure out what I'm going to do. But instead of talking about that and waffling on about all the technical aspects, in this video, I will be doing that in future videos. Uh, a lot more specific breakdowns on my process, sculpting, tips and tricks. What I thought I'd do today is embark on a journey through the mythical realms as we unravel the fascinating history of goblins. Those mischievous and often menacing creatures that have carved their place in both ancient mythology and the immersive world of Dungeons and Dragons. Now, Goblins in various forms have been a staple of folklore around the world for centuries. Uh, these diminutive beings, often portrayed with a penchant for mischief, found their roots in European mythology, from the Germanic kobold to the French gobelin. These creatures have been woven into the fabric of fantastical tales. Now, as the myths spread, goblins took on different characteristics, sometimes helpful, sometimes malevolent but always fascinating, and in many cultures they were believed to be spirits of supernatural entities residing in the shadows. So let's fast forward to the 70s. You know, it's a, the realm of tabletop gaming changed forever with the advent of Dungeons and Dragons. Gary and Dave drew a lot of inspiration from a myriad of mythologies, and goblins found a new home as iconic creatures within the D&D universe. Now, in the Dungeons and Dragons multiverse, goblins quickly became a stable, uh, stable antagonist, known for their cunning and often chaotic nature from low-level nuisances to formidable adversaries. These creatures added depth and countless quest campaigns. What's fascinating is how D&D evolved the traditional goblin archetype. No longer just tricksters, goblins became kind of part of vast societies, really complete with unique cultures, tribes, and even alliances with other monstrous races. Dungeon masters and players alike embrace the challenge of facing goblins, whether in dank caves, dark forests, or the depths of sprawling dungeons. And as the game expanded, so did the lore surrounding these creatures. Today in the world, goblins continue to captivate our imaginations. I mean, they're so varied and vast in their descriptions or their portrayals are from the cartoony kind of almost goofy-like goblins in the animated Dragon Lance, or Dragons of Autumn's Twilight, all the way through to Peter Jackson's um, movies. And in literature, they're just, they're amazingly varied. And, you know, they're creatures that have been spoken about for thousands of years in tales. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to sculpt one, because they're, you can really just play with it. If you keep to kind of like a, a, I suppose, a baseline on what they're supposed to look like, you can really have fun with them. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to jump in and do this sculpt. And we've got to remember now, nowadays, especially in D&D, they're not just foes to be defeated. They're characters with depth, potential allies, or even protagonists in their own right. So like with anything I do, um, be it a, a reimagining of a current character that's there, like Tannis half Elven, which I've done, and other ones which are coming up, and I don't want to spoil it, I like to give everything I sculpt the backstory so I've got a story to delve into uh, aside from being a sculptor I'm also a writer or I would be wannabe writer and um, so I've written a bit of a, a backstory for this character of Norg which I'll, I'll tell you guys in, in a moment or shortly a little bit later in the video so stick around for that um, and I hope you enjoy it whether you're delving into ancient myths or embarking on a D&D quest remember that goblins are more than just creatures of the shadows they're a testament really to the enduring 
power of storytelling and imagination from from novels from movies to comic books to um, toys everything in between they've just always been around and that's one of the joys of doing what I do is being able to sculpt the, my variation or my version or how I I picture these creatures in my mind so here we've got me going a little bit further getting starting to get a little bit more detailed out so really until then um, sit back and relax for a little bit uh, enjoy how I work on old Norg here and get him up and going really getting the forms kind of filled in starting to really get a look for how he's going to be and then we'll start moving on to building up his armor and his little accessories weapons and posing and I'll just chuck on a bit of music sit back and relax watch this time lapse for a, a moment and then we'll get into story time all right see you then
in the shadowy depths of the Thornspire Forest, a place where the whispers of ancient trees tell tales of forgotten magic. There lived a goblin named Norg, cunning and untrustworthy. Norg was an outcast even among his kin, the notorious Bloodfang tribe. His insatiable greed and penchant for mischief had earned him the ire of his chieftain and the distrust of his fellow goblins. One fateful night, under the baleful glow of the blood moon, Norg hatched a devious plan to steal the tribe's prized possession, the Jewel of Whispering Shadows, a mystical gem said to grant its possessor dark visions and the ability to control the shadows themselves. With a sack slung over his shoulder, Norg silently navigated the labyrinthine goblin encounter. His beady eyes glistened with mischief as he avoided the sentries and evaded the cunning traps set by his kin. It was a dance of shadows, <laughs> a ballet of deception. The goblin's treacherous journey led him to the heart of the tribal chief's tent. There, nestled within a velvet-lined chest, lay the coveted jewel. Norg's nimble fingers deftly snatched the gem, and a wicked grin spread across his face. But as he turned to make his escape, the tribal chieftain, Grognak Bloodfang, emerged from the shadows. The chief's eyes narrowed, and a low growl rumbled in his throat. He had anticipated Norg's betrayal. A swift and chaotic chase ensued through the twisted paths of Thornspire Forest. Norg, with the jewel clutch, tightly zigzagged through the ancient trees his cunning mind calculating every twist and turn. But Grognak was relentless, fueled by the fury of betrayal. The forest echoed with the clash of goblin pursuit, the jewel's eerie glow casting ethereal shadows on the mossy ground. Just when it seemed like Grognak would catch his deceitful underling, Nog stumbled upon a hidden cave entrance, obscured by thick vines. With a manacle cackle, Norg drove into the darkness, leaving Grognak fuming in the moonlit forest. Little did the chieftain know that Norg's banishment had just begun. In the depths of the hidden cave, Norg marveled at his ill-gotten prize, a jewel pulsed with dark energy promising untold power. Little did the cunning goblin know that his actions had set in motion a chain of events that would shape the destiny of Thornspire Forest and beyond. The chaotic goblin Norg now held a key to ancient secrets, and his banishment would become a tale whispered in the shadows for generations to come. Well, guys, I hope you liked that little snippet of the background of Norg, or what the treacherous little goblin's been up to. Um, like I said before, I love making up uh, little kind of backstories when creating a character. It just really kind of it gets you kind of in the feel for who this character is and, and the look that I wanted to go for. In hindsight, I kind of figured I should have actually put a gem in the model's hand, but I didn't. Um, I should have actually changed his outstretched hand to be holding it, and I probably still can do that. Um, so you never know, the final model may actually change, or there may be a variation of it. But... Um, all in all, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, there's more to come. I love being back. Uh, I'm putting a video up in a couple of days, kind of like a background on where I've been for the last year on what happened. I had an accident, uh, which kind of stopped me from sculpting and that for a while. I severely, severely damaged my arm. But I'm in the healing process and going through a lot of physio and slowly getting better. Um, as stated before, uh, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Definitely, definitely leave a comment. Um, give me some ideas on where to go from here. Uh, the next video is going to be um, Flint Fireforge from Dragonlance, or my variation of him. I have done one of Tannis, but unfortunately, I lost all the actual video footage from him. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to put up some just some turntables and that of the actual final model and the print, which I did post on, on a couple of pages. And I think I put a short up. Uh, of it so anyway like i said like subscribe hit that bell notification you guys have been awesome and until next time i hope all your roles are 20s have a great adventure guys and i'll talk to you soon thanks for watching the video